All we'll have to do is unwire the cattle panel, open it up, and go through the hay. What's up, modern steaders? Today, we're gonna be building a potato bed. And in the potato bed, we're gonna be growing potatoes. But we're not gonna be just using soil. We're gonna be using maybe some leaves, but mostly some spent hay that is covered in chicken manure from our winter chicken coop. If you wanted to, you could use old pallets. We're gonna be using cattle panels here for this. We can take them apart and we'll reuse them for a different project when we're all done with the potato bed. Your eyeball. Watch your eyes. So poke your eye out. Do you want twigs? Yep, twigs is fine. This is not a good idea. The reason why I'm mixing leaves and hay is each one of these things will bring in different beneficial bacteria. I'm not gonna be able to hold it really. You got it. <laughs> All right, here we get a thing of loom and then we're good. You gotta get in there again? I get in there. Ah. One, two, one more time. Tilt the bucket up, so push it in. Yeah, more. Stay down. Is that deep enough? Yeah, we just need a little bit. Now we're just gonna plant the potatoes with the little eyes growing upwards. We're just gonna have them like this. We've got 10 pounds worth of seed potatoes that we're starting with. 
We did mostly Yukon gold, and then I got a few purple potatoes that were growing eyes. They, I didn't buy them. They're left over from our mix we had with the roses the other night. This hay is like half rotted, which is nice. Nice and wet and soaked with chicken manure from the winter chicken coop. We're gonna have a boatload of potatoes in here if all these take. Like and then that once they start growing, and they're like six to 12 inches tall, we'll come back over and we'll cover them with hay. We'll leave like an inch or two of them sticking out above the hay. And then we'll keep doing that every time they grow until they get like this high. Then, so they'll be till fall. Once it starts getting cold, the plants will die off. We'll let them sit and then we can harvest them. All we'll have to do is unwire the cattle panel, open it up and go through the hay. Should be nice and easy. And we should have a lot of potatoes. It would be like getting a needle in a haystack. Yeah, but there'll be a lot of needles in the haystack. Uh -huh. Hopefully, that's the plan, right? Is it bigger than a needle. Bigger than a needle. They will have some purple ones too. Do they say purple when you cook them? Yeah. Cool. They kind of dye your hands purple like a beet would. Believe it or not, when I was cooking them the other night. Mm -hmm. Sweet. We only got a, about an hour, but we're gonna start working on planting our raised garden bed. Let's go get the lumber. You ready? Uh huh. You want this one? And then if we decide we want another one, we'll do the skinny long one on past it. Okay, so we'll do this long one over there. I don't like having these pigs this close to where we work and it's gonna Why? be good for us. Cause we're always gonna be taking trips over to see how cute they are. Well, they're not gonna always be that cute. Right guys, you don't help our productivity. What the heck? What the heck? Huh? Huh? Now you want scratches? I'm trying to get you to get scratches earlier. We got about 45 minutes left before we get a leaf, so we want to get this cut, built, and done for the day. That way we can go, ah, we got another project done for our growing season. Whoa. For our bracing, we're just using leftover stacking they had when we bought our lumber piles. This is just, they stack the bundles on them so they can get the fork trucks under them. We don't need to have anything fancy. I mean, our boards are 10 inches wide, so we just want to cut them 10 inches. And then at this cut, yes, it's going to want to fall when I'm done. Looks pretty nice and rustic. 
I like it. I like it. Cool. It's not going to have any cages on it. Correct. What's that? No hoops. Guys, she's getting out the tape measure. 35. We're in trouble now. It's almost even. Almost even? Do you want us to move it at all? Can I kick it? I don't think you can kick it. That's Maybe you can. That's way too much. I'm going to kick it back. Hold on one second. 31. Yeah, it needs to be Try, Check it. 31. Perfect. All right, modern status. We got the garden box finished up, and now we got to get going to our birthday party. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna try to get out here before the rain, get some mulch down, and get some loom put in here. So if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. See you guys.